Hey everyone, Mattitude22 here with another figure review. Today we're going to be looking at the DC Multiverse Collect and Connect King Shark Wave. This is Hawkman from the Legends of Tomorrow TV show. Like, looking at this guy, I I'm kind of on the fence with this one. There's stuff I like and there there's stuff I don't like. The first kind of, the first thing I don't like is I feel like he's a little bit small. Just in, in comparison to the other other figures, like if you take Zoom, for example, I feel like they're the same size, but I feel like I feel like Hawkman should be more bulky. He should be a, more of a bear character. All that aside, there is some there is some nice things going on. There's a lot of different paint, a lot of different molded pieces and a lot of nice sculpting. So I do like that. So I'm, I'm kind of on the fence with this one. Looking at the head, it looks pretty good for the face. The helmet looks nice. I like the bronze color for the helmet. That's painted really well. And even just looking at the face part, you could see his eyes are kind of painted blue. They stand out pretty nice. And you have this this part here, this uh, the shoulder the shoulder plates again, nice brown leather. The paint I think is really nice. It stands out, leading into the this like gem or whatever you want to call it that's on his chest. A nice bright red. It looks nice. His his shirt is there is some sculpting. These lines are all sculpted, so that does look pretty nice. The gold stands out fairly well. On the arms, this piece is kind of molded in that same brown leathery color. Uh, all in all, that looks okay. I do I do like that. Here is where it kind of gets a little a little more rough. The belt is kind of like I understand the belt being the same part as these pieces. I do definitely get that. But I can't help but feel like in the center it could have used a, maybe like a nice silver, a nice gold just to kind of break it up a little bit, but very, all in all, that's a very minor complaint. The paint on the legs, it looks good. Nice navy blue. More of a, well, navy blue, kind of a bluish black. Does look good. The buttons are all painted here, which I do like. The feet, however, that's where he gets, that's, wh that's where we start having our big problems. The feet are just way too small. Even in terms of, like, already speaking, like, I feel like this figure is a bit too small. Not as bulky as he should be. The feet ha are very small for this guy, for this figure. It, not just small, but very thin, like, very narrow. I, I don't know, I don't know why, but it, it doesn't look good. I don't imagine anybody's, any man's feet are that small. I, I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say that. There, there's probably men out there with small feet. But I feel like for this figure, it doesn't match. And I don't know. May, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm just being nitpicky. You guys can let me know in the comments. It just feels very small for me. But aside from that, it is not bad. The articulation is, it is what it is. So you get your head, you get your side to side. Ball peg shoulders. And these shoulder pieces, I like that they don't inhibit the articulation. So that's still good. I do like that. You can still get the full range of motion. Get your upper arm swivel. Single jointed elbow. Wrist rotation, not too bad. The ab crunch down looks pretty good. And backwards is pretty good. Definitely, the backwards is good, but definitely not having the head 
being able to move you're not going to get him into a nice uh, flying pose and that's definitely definitely a problem waist twist now when we're talking about the hips here's where the problem these pieces do somewhat inhibit the articulation not too bad that's about the most i could get it without trying to force it again like like we've seen with a lot of these figures a lot of the ones i got a lot of parts are very stiff so this is a softer piece i'm thinking it could be not as flexible or it could just be this guy is just the hips are really stiff so that's that's a toss-up that one's a toss-up single jointed knee upper leg rotation not bad ankle rockers again they're supposed to be there but just stiff they just don't want to move again I, i'm not trying to force it i, I have a, there's a lot of issues with this wave in in terms of stiff parts but eh. what, can, I, what can you do i guess as far as accessories he gets his mace which is nice basically just molded in a a silver kind of like a rubber like a rubber like a very soft plastic very bendable but that's okay so not too bad right there and he gets of course he can't have hawkman without his wings and these are pretty nice they just snap onto his back like so they do look nice the color is good i do like the color the more kind of like auburn like a more like a brownish it, very nice they come out pretty far it, it doesn't look the best if you get them too far out i feel like these parts should kind of be on the side too i don't know why it just it, it, it doesn't look right but if you kind of have it like that it looks not too bad and there's a lot of nice texturing in there so that's very nice overall this is a decent figure like i said i'm kind of on the fence there's stuff i like and there's definitely stuff i don't like if you're if you're collecting the if you're trying to build your legends of tomorrow team with your mattels you'll fit in nicely probably should be a little bit bigger but you'll still fit in nicely but if you're going the dc collectibles route he's definitely gonna be too small which is a shame because i feel like dc collectibles is not going to give us a hawkman so that's definitely a shame but this guy is a good figure and I say I say he's worth the pickup even despite some of the even despite some of the issues I, I say he's worth a pickup so thanks guys for watching please like share leave a comment and subscribe and I will catch you guys with another figure review next time peace